Hey everybody, beautiful humans out there. My name's Mirko, I'm known as Dark Sky Explorer on Instagram, also darkskyexploring.com. I wanna give a big shout out to all the good folks over at Woodland Hills Camera and Telescope. Very awesome folks over there. They've uh, given me on loan a Red Cat 51 to put through its paces, and that's what I'm gonna share with you uh, pretty soon. But for now, let's just open up the box and see what's Yo. inside. We're gonna open the sucker up. Hopefully I can film this and and not cut myself. All right, my bird has decided that she's gonna help me out. So we're gonna take a look at what's inside here. So you may have seen other unboxing videos on the web, particularly Astro Backyard. He does an awesome job, Trevor over there from astrobackyard.com. I'm gonna spend a little time. He's already done all that, but I'm gonna spend some time on um, just how to set it up with your camera and whatnot. So we're greeted with a lovely case. That's really awesome carry your equipment and don't have to worry about it getting all smashed up and William Optics cases are fairly, fairly nice. So that's pretty cool to see. And they got a cool little logo. Okay, pretty let's neat. open it up. I've unzipped it. All right, there it is. Quality assurance certificate, which is cool. And there is the telescope. Now this telescope is an apochromatic telescope. It's a four element design, Petzval design. It will focus all frequencies of light to the focal plane and you won't you shouldn't get any color fringing and it's supposed to get some pretty darn sharp images all right now this telescope has a really cool um cover lens cover for it if i can take this off with one hand here incorporated in the lens cover is actually uh they're, i guess they're patented diffraction spikes um this will help you focus stars and to do that it's really quite simple Let's see if i can get this thing all the way screwed off here all right, keep going. What you need to do is, you know, you put this, you get a, a, a bright star in the field of view. You put this cap on like this. And what you're going to do, what you're going to see actually is what this cap does is it creates diffraction spikes in the, in the shape of this, these cat whiskers here. And when you focus, this vertical line is going to go left and right. And you know you're in focus is when the vertical line is right in the center of that X. So that's pretty cool. That's actually really handy. Okay, next is the uh, lens cover or lens shade. Basically, you unscrew this off, all right? And then you screw this back on. Okay, so this is fairly straightforward. It's kind of cool. Now it's looking like a pretty serious telescope. Doesn't look like a little Mini 51, actually. But it is, haha! -ha! This is achieved by unlocking this right here, this, uh, this locks the focus. Once it's unlocked, you can see there it has graduations. You can achieve a pretty sharp focus. Um, and then you would lock it again to make sure it doesn't move. Well, it's pretty tight right there. I guess you can lock it really, yeah. Anyway. The view does rotate with this lock right here. So once you unlock that and your camera equipment is on, it, it turns very, fairly simple. So anyway. It has graduations here so you can see what degrees you are set to. Now something very important. Um, it doesn't come with the telescope, but you are going to need an M48 adapter. M48 to T2 adapter, okay? So this is a 48 millimeter thread. Okay, so that's the first issue. The second issue is that that adapter to your focal plane needs to be 59.7 millimeters. Okay, thankfully I have I have a 48 to T2 adapter and with an additional spacer here, I have my Star Arizona filter slider. The filter sliders are 17 and a half. My camera back focus is 17 and a half. So with this rig set up right here, I get 55 millimeters, 54 millimeters. So that means I am about six millimeters short five millimeters short, so I need to get another spacer, which I think I do have in my um, bag. So, but just realize that that's important. If you don't achieve that uh, distance, you're not gonna get a nice flat field. Your stars could be um, not round at the uh, edges or the quadrants of your image, and you're not gonna get your image of the day, darn it. That's what you're doing this for, I mean. Okay, so on. this is how it's set up with my ZWO camera. Um, I got the filter slider and, uh, and about 19 millimeters right here from the M48 to the um, filter slider. Now that's about, you know, there's there's some play in there to put in a, an off-axis guider if that's really what you want to do. But this is a wide field telescope. Um, I'm going to be just taking 
short exposures and uh, testing it out. Probably, you know, a minute to to 90 seconds. I wouldn't go over 90 seconds because I'm going to be using a start, start adventure. Set this up for a DSLR. There's really good news. My M48 to T2 adapter plus this camera T2 adapter, which I have a Pentax. This is about, I think it's a, um, I think it's 10 millimeters. Usually there's like nine or 10 millimeters distance. I think mine's, I think this is 10 millimeters. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, is that with this setup, I get basically at the focal plane that I need to. I get the focal distance that I need to, a 59 or 59.7 around 60. So then that's how this is gonna set up right here. Let's see if I can do this. All right, I did it. And I didn't break anything or drop anything and I filmed it with one hand, hallelujah. Anyway. I That's hope you that. enjoyed my unboxing video of the Red Cat 51. It looks like a beautiful little telescope. I'm looking forward to using it. I'm going to put it through its paces. I'm also just letting you know I'm going to compare it against my 300 millimeter prime lens. Uh, it's an f4. Um, the Red Cat is 250 millimeters at f4.9. So a 30 second exposure in my prime lens that I normally use for birding and actually I've been using it for astrophotography lately will equal a 90 second exposure on the red cat. So that's how drastic the exposure differences are a 4.9 and aperture of 51 versus uh, of F4 and aperture of 75. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in, check in for my images shortly and uh, go to telescopes.net. They got them in stock. You can order them online right there for and all your astrophotography and camera needs for that matter. All right, thanks a lot, bye.